Usually I come on here and say, Welcome to the Brash! Sean's View Entertainment. Like the video, subscribe. Give my view of WWE rumors, news headlines. Keep you up to date on everything WWE. But today I don't come to you as Sean's View. I come to you as just plain old Sean. Some of you may know as, know me as Sean Patrick. And um, I have some news that is very real and pretty much to me it's very startling, very scary. Um, a situation occurred uh, of all days, of all days, on December the 13th, on a Friday. Yes, Friday the 13th, ladies and gentlemen. And um, on that day, and this is, this is very hard for me to get out. This, this is, um, I wish I could, you know, be coming on here under, under better circumstances. But there are a lot of girls, a lot of women, whatever you want to refer to it as, that are affected by this. Um, because on that day, my mom found out that she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments. Sean, why are you wearing the hats? Why are you wearing the shirts? Well, when I do wear the shirt. Why you had the wristbands, you know? Um, well, at first, I was just doing it to support the cause, support the cure for breast cancer. But it brings a whole new perspective when someone you know is dealing with breast cancer. And my mom is one of the most important people, no, the most important person in my life. And um, this, I, I never would have thought that this would have happened. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a hell of a thing, but it's a common thing to occur in girls and women. And I'm not just doing this video for my mother. I'm not just doing it because I love her. I'm doing this out here. I'm doing this video for your mother. For someone you love, please uh, raise awareness. Uh, make sure they get checked out. Make sure they get the proper tests. Make sure they do what they're supposed to do so they can get early treatment, so they can detect this thing early, so you have uh, you know, a much better chance uh, of survival. Um, you know, early detection is the best. And, uh, you know, maybe you might have noticed that I haven't been myself. Maybe you noticed that I wasn't as enthusiastic. And maybe you, you might have noticed that I wasn't into my videos as I have been over the last several weeks. And that's because I am dealing with my mom going through breast cancer. And I can tell you right now, when I heard that, it's like everything stopped. I tried to, you know, not let it affect me in a way that, you know, it would affect my work here on YouTube. But I've come to a point where I cannot... You know, it, I'm not leaving. I'm not going away. I'm not even going to take a break. I'm with my mother every step of the way through this, and it's ridiculous. All the blood tests, um, all the different x-rays, all the different scans, uh, you know, mammograms, everything that she has to go, go through. And you sit back and you witness this. And like I said, it, it brings a whole new perspective. When you hear that someone has it that you don't know, you obviously you feel bad and you hope that they can overcome it. But when somebody you know has breast cancer and is affected by it, it's it's a whole different story and, and the game changes um but even though my mom is older she's 70 years old she had me when she was 44 yes 44 true story legitimate right here okay my mom some some 70 year olds are frail some of them are weak some of them are strong thank god my mom is strong she is 70 years old but she's a strong 70 years old and um she had all kinds of tests done to make sure that she can do the chemo she can do the radiation so where we sit right now is um, she is at, at stage one. Thank God it's only stage one, but it's level three. It's in a very aggressive cancer. So it's something that they're going to have to take care of very soon. And right now, as a matter of fact, she's having a test done right now. Like I said, you, you, the magnitude of this is, is out of this world. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy that my mom is a fighter and we're going to fight through this. It's going to be a rough time. It's going to be very tough. She's going to lose her hair due to the chemotherapy. So I just want to let everyone know right now that if you have a mother that is hopefully still alive, and if they're over the age of even 35, because there's, there's girls, there's women in this world that get it 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. It can strike at any time. And 70 years old is actually very it's very um different to get it at that age. I mean, it's it's not, um, and I can't find the word, it's... um. Not something that usually happens in your 70s. It'll happen in your 40s or your 50s. It's not something consistent with a 70-year-old, but cancer can strike anyone at any time. It does not discriminate. So I just want to raise awareness to everybody out there to make sure that your mother gets a mammogram, make sure they get checked out, make sure that you know th they understand th the ramifications and the circumstances. You know, If you get checked early, much better survival rate. And hopefully for my mom, she'll be able to overcome this. Hopefully she will be able to rise above cancer so this has been sean from sean view entertainment and uh, i'm just trying to raise awareness trying to get the word out there and uh, i'm gonna try my best to get through this thing and hopefully all will be right at the end of the day 
and we can all survive this. We can all overcome this. Cancer is a hell of a thing. And um, no one, I guess no one's immune from it. It's, it can strike anyone at any time at any day. And that's, that's the thing about cancer. But the fight has just begun. Thank you very much.